Hello students, this is Mr. Talmadge. I want to show you how to add a picture to the background of a comment box on your Excel map. So here are the steps in the process. First, we'll search for a picture. Make sure that you have appropriate copyright. In other words, it's in the Creative Commons or the public domain. You can do that by filtering a Google image search or by using wikimedia.org and searching there. Then you're going to want to make sure to save that picture to your student account. Then you're going to pull up your Excel map and click Show All Comments. Then you're going to click on the comment that you want to format. You're going to hover over the border of the comment box. You're going to right click on that border. Then you're going to click Format Comment. From there you'll click Colors and Lines. Then you'll click the Fill Color box. That allows you to either change the color of the, of the background of your box or you can click Select Picture. And if, then you can locate where you saved your picture and you can double click it. Finally, you're going to want to alter the transparency level by moving the slider bar, <clears throat> and I'll show you what I mean. Let me go ahead and do and uh, do a Google in search. I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I pulled up Internet Explorer and I, I went to Google. From here, I'm going to click on Images, and then I want to click on the Advanced Image Search over here next to the Search Images box. Now, I know that I'm going to be searching for something related to whales or whale hunting, so I'm going to type in Native American Whale Hunt. But before hitting the Google search button, I'm going to go ahead and do two things. I'm going to label for reuse. That allows me to pull up images that I can use in my own creations. Then I'm going to use the strict filter to get rid of any inappropriate images that might be pulled up. Now I'm going to select Google Search and I can see there are some things that are showing. I like these first few over here, such as uh, this one here. I'm going to select C full size image. That usually takes me to the actual location of the picture on the web. From here, I'm going to right click on it. That's going to allow me to save the picture to my account. I'm going to select my individual file share account. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Whale Hunt and hit Save. Okay, so now I can minimize this. I can pull up my Washington map right here. So I know that uh, whale hunting was done in this area. I also know that the Macaw tribe over here around Nia Bay does whale hunting. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to insert comment get rid of my name. I can say W is for whale hunting. That's my first sentence. Okay. My second sentence could be something like um, coastal Indians hunted for whales and used most of the whale for, uh, for their needs. Okay, so I have a second sentence. It could be better. Um, could it could include a date or some sort of number. The point here is that we're going to format the comment box. So I'm going to hover over the border. Notice how the cursor changes to the arrows. Now I can right click it. Notice how it changed to a tire grid type pattern. And I can select format comment. Now I want to make sure that the Colors and Lines tab is selected. And now I can go to the Fill section and select Fill Color. I'm going to left click there. Now I can go down to the bottom. If I don't want to change the color, I want to do a Fill Effect. That's right here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and click on the Picture tab at the top. And then this option right here, Select Picture. Now I can go to wherever I saved that picture on my individual account. I'm going to double click it. That's going to pull that picture up. I'm going to select OK. And now I'm going to change the transparency level a little bit to make it less dark so that my actual writing or comment shows up in better when that picture is into the background. I'm going to hit OK. Now I can see there it is. I might want to select the text here and go ahead and make it bold or I could change the color of the text as well. Let's go ahead and hover over that comment. You can see there's a picture in the background and also my text is there. 
So this is how to insert a picture into the background of a comment box. Good luck.